I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think that's really all I have to say about that. Guilty. <laughs> like really, do you wear it? Let's just talk about the underwear. Sorry mom if you're watching this. Just get, just, just let them go. Let go of the old rags. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my home. So today I have a little bit of a different style video for you. I am giving you guys 100 things that you can declare from your home. And actually it ends up being a lot more than that because a lot of these things are simply categories that you can declutter a lot more than one item from that category. But normally if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that every year around this time, I like to go through and do a whole house declutter. Well, this year, I decided you know what instead of taking you with me through my house why don't I actually give you the list of a hundred plus I'm gonna say a hundred plus things that you can declutter from your home things I decluttered from my home and it's always such a great feeling to get rid of things that you're not using so let's jump right into this list the first item on my list is house plants and this may not apply to everybody but I love house plants and in the spring when they look all gorgeous and a lot of stores get big shipments of them in sometimes I can go a little overboard. And this spring I did, I bought way too many. And to be honest, I really didn't have the time or energy to keep maintaining them, specifically ones that needed to be watered a lot. So I went ahead and decluttered. Next item on my list is throw pillows. And as much as I love throw pillows and I love the way they look, I have been finding myself cleaning throw pillows up off the floor pretty consistently. When you have children or you have pets, that want to throw your extra throw pillows on the floor. Sometimes they're more pain than they're worth. And so take note of how many throw pillows you actually use when you're lounging on the couch or your bed and kind of go from there on what is realistic for you to have laying around your house. Unused cookware. And this was actually a pretty big thing for me to declutter because I had found about three different items of cookware that I really, really like and use on a regular basis. And the rest of them I really wasn't even using. So I decluttered quite a bit and and just stuck with the ones that I use. This item is one that for some reason I consistently forget about and I feel like I can kind of hang on to these forever and that is spices and or just like dry rubs, things like that, that get really old really fast. And if you bought it for a recipe and you haven't used it in two years, more than likely you just need to throw it away. Along with old spices, old pantry items, like maybe that can of soup that you've had since 2015, you never know. <laughs> um, anything that is out of date or just simply that you know you may have purchased for a specific reason and you're never gonna actually use it. It's just taking up space in your pantry. This was a kind of big area for me to declutter and that was cooking utensils that I don't use regularly that were taking up space in my drawer and I also needed to replace a few of them that just were really old and had already had their day in the sun and I just needed some new cooking utensils. Right next to the cooking utensils is extra knives and knives that just were not sharp anymore. Um, ones that maybe you have good intentions of sharpening but they don't get sharpened and so they just sit in your drawer for weeks, months, years on end, um, go ahead and just really think about the knives that you reach for on a regular basis. This is an item that I actually didn't have a whole lot to declutter um, this time around. However, probably about two years ago, I did a pretty big declutter of this and that is cookbooks. I tend to go to Google or Pinterest to get my recipes. So rarely do I even remember that I have a cookbook on hand. So for me, they just take up a lot of space that I could be using for something else. So I have been given a really cute ceramic set of measuring cups um, as a gift and they kind of kept breaking and so I just had these random odds and ends pieces of them and I wouldn't really reach for them. I tend to reach for my stainless steel set a little bit faster than the ceramic set. So I don't even know why I was hanging on to them. So measuring cups and spoons is the next thing on the list. This item I feel like we can replace 
pretty often just for sanitary reasons and that is cutting boards particularly wooden cutting boards if you're not maintaining them very well which that would be me I'm not very good at oiling my cutting boards when they are wooden and so I actually made the switch to getting some plastic ones that were nice and durable and they're also not that expensive to replace so I think it's something that maybe even on a yearly basis would be a good idea to replace get in there and declutter dishes that you just don't use or dishes that that you very rarely use. Okay, so if you guys watch my channel, then you know this is probably a weak spot for me and that is extra decor that I do not like. I am terrible at trying to hang on to decor pieces, putting them into a storage tub somewhere, thinking at some point I'm going to use it somewhere. And the reality is there has been stuff that I've hung on to for years and it's just not my taste and not my style anymore. This is another one that kind of goes along with the spices idea and that is medicine and vitamins that are old that you just need to throw away. And I didn't realize how bad I was at this until not long ago. I went to reach for a child's pain medicine like the syrup style and the inside of it was crystallized which I didn't even know could happen but apparently it can <laughs> okay so this idea I actually saw on someone else's list that they had made a list of things to declutter and that is reusable straws and I don't know why but probably for the last three years and I'm not kidding three years I have had straws reusable straws that i do not use and i don't like them there's certain ones that are harder to clean so i always reach for the ones i do like and don't ask me why i dig through the ones i don't like to get to the ones i do like so right after the reusable straws is tumblers and water bottles and for some reason i think it might be because of the price point of some of these things we tend to hang on to them thinking i spent that money but i don't really use this thing but i should keep it because i spent the money which is a bad bad reason for keeping something <laughs> for me in the same cupboard is my mugs and again same idea that you have mugs that you really don't like and i am an avid coffee drinker you guys probably already know that and for me i have mugs that i like i like the way they feel when i hold them i like how much that they will hold inside the mug and so those are the ones i always reach for and at times i will even rewash a mug that i had just used because i it's my favorite one all right so to go along with the spice and the medicine let's just add old tea in there <laughs> and tea is something that can lose its taste also over time as it gets old I know that there's been times where I've had a box of tea and I know I had it for probably almost two years which is completely ridiculous if I've only drank about two tea bags out of it okay so you guys can tell me if you're guilty of this and that is you run out of spoons you run out of forks way too often so you go buy a bunch of utensils eating utensils and for me I don't know but a couple of months ago I guess I thought we needed a lot more forks and I bought a lot of forks I don't know why and now we never ever run out of forks but it also takes up valuable space in my drawer that I could use for something else. So this one is for all of the parents out there, guardians, people that take care of little people, and that is having extra kids cups, um, sippy cups, water bottles, things that you don't use. And this kind of goes along with like adult water bottles. We all know that there are certain cups and water bottles that just don't work well for our child. They don't know how to use it right, or maybe it's just a defective one that they can't even drink. There's no air that can go in and out, so they go to drink it and it's just hard for them to drink out of. If you are a mom, you probably know this whole story, but getting rid of cups and things that your kids don't use, or I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, cups that are hard to wash, things that don't get clean on the inside, and I don't even know why they create cups like that, but especially water bottles. All right, so some of us are pretty guilty of this one, and that is hang on to kitchen linens way too long. That is the dish towel that's all stained up from old spaghetti sauce, you know, anything like that, just get just just let them go let go of the old rags <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and look underneath of our sinks slash wherever you keep your cleaners and look at the household cleaners that you really don't use this is something that I think we know they don't really go bad so we tend to hang on to them even if it's something we don't 
use. You may have some a product you like better and you keep repurchasing that product and the other random carpet cleaner that you don't like is just sitting there. These may be in your junk drawer, they may be slid into a drawer in your nightstand, who knows, but little tools that we don't use. I'm particularly thinking of Allen wrenches. I know when I get a new piece of furniture, most of the time they come with a little Allen wrench and you put the bed together and then you never use their Allen wrench again. And or if you have a set of Allen wrenches, you really don't need the one that came with the item of furniture or whatever. I'm a homeschool mom and my kids love to craft a lot and this one, I know my mom was a homeschool mom and was super guilty of, sorry mom if you're watching this, <laughs> but keeping all of glue. And I know this is a funny thing to land on my list, but how often do we have glue sticks or bottles of glue? I know these end up a lot in my junk drawer, little bottles of super glue or something like that. They're completely glued shut or the glue itself inside the bottle is completely dried out. Go ahead, get all those out of there. Stop digging through them. Stop adding them to the pile in your junk drawer. All right, so I just mentioned that I'm a homeschool mom and along with that comes books, especially if you're a thrifter and you see books, oh, we could probably use that somewhere in our schoolwork or something like that. And you don't end up using it. It's out of your child's learning range or something like that. And also just reading books. I know that I can accumulate a lot of books. I think that this is one that we probably all declutter at some point and then we accumulate. It's just, it's awful, it's awful. That is containers. Like I'm talking whatever you wanna call them, Tupperware containers, food storage containers, lids, pieces that do not go together. We know the story. It's like the never ending sock problem with losing socks. It's just something that is constant and I would say at a minimum you should probably declutter those at least once a year if not multiple times throughout the year. I was going to say that this applies a lot to um, people with kids but I really think it can go both ways depending on how you like to shop and that is decluttering shoes and I think that right now this time of year is a turn of the seasons here where we live and so it's a good time to go through and weed out shoes that are just beat up shoes that won't fit the next season or just shoes that are not very comfortable. Again, with the turn of the seasons, getting rid of coats and jackets that you don't like or things that don't fit well. And I think a good coat or a jacket is a must have if you live in an area that's colder. Along with that is out of season clothing, which is pretty much what I explained. If you didn't like it last winter, then you probably won't like it this winter and pass it on to someone else that will like it. This is a little tip that I received whenever my girls were a lot younger and it kind of goes along with hanging on to clothes for your next child. I have three daughters so sometimes it's very tempting to hang on to a shirt that I know next year will fit the next daughter but one thing to keep in mind whenever something is stained or slightly stained or like you can almost see a stain on it the longer that it sits the more obvious that stain is going to become especially when it comes to baby food and things like that. Since we're on the topic of clothing let's just go with the really obvious one which I know as women, sometimes we can have a hard time with, and that is stuff that we do not wear. Like really, do you wear it? And I think it's a good idea to just enjoy your wardrobe, enjoy what you have on hand and have it all fit you and love it for what it is instead of kind of being unsatisfied. Okay, so again, this might not apply to you, but active clothing. <laughs> I am very bad at hanging on to active clothing that I do not use because again, I think that at some point I'm going to get into a great system where I'm using active clothing every single morning. Let's just call it something called working out every day and it just doesn't happen for me. So maybe you're someone that is in the gym every single morning. You probably still have active clothing that you don't reach for. So decluttering your active clothing is definitely something that needs to be on the list. I'm just gonna skim over this one. I'm not even gonna go into detail because we all know, we all know. Let's just talk about the underwear. Let's talk about the ones that we don't like, the ones that just take up lots of space. Please, if you don't do anything else today, just go declutter your underwear. <laughs> okay, so if you have kiddos, this is probably one that you really need to do, and that is going through your games. Games are great, and I love playing games with my kids, but 
at some point generally they lose pieces and you can't really play them and as much as they might go back on the game pile every time you go digging through them you may need to go through your games and actually see does this have all the cards does this have all the moving pieces all right so i think i nailed this one down pretty well in the last probably two years but that is bags that i do not use i do not have a very big bag collection when it comes to tote bags or purses or anything like that i have specific ones that i definitely like and use but maybe you're someone that needs to go through your bags along with the bag idea let's go with some reusable bags i know for myself sometimes i can accumulate a lot of reusable bags and the reality is they're being stashed somewhere but they're not being used with the seasons changing again gloves and hats and i know for us in our house we are very very particular on how a glove or a mitten or a hat or a scarf fits and feels so if it's something that is not comfortable, it definitely can be passed along to somebody else that really may need it or may enjoy it more than you. Unused or empty shower items sitting in my shelves in my shower. And before I know it, I realize I have multiple empty bottles that are just sitting in my shower. I don't really know why. So maybe you have the same problem and you need to go and actually dispose of some empty bottles right now sitting in your shower. Along with this, old skincare. And this is something that, especially if you're someone that likes to use natural skincare products, go bad. And they aren't effective. And in fact, if they are rancid, they're really not good for your skin. All right, so I don't know if you all have this problem but sometimes i go to light a candle and i realize it's burnt out and it's really been sitting there a long time burnt out and it has no wick left and it should have been thrown away so maybe you need to walk through your house and check on your candles see if they're burnt out and see if they're just taking up space on your countertop all right so let's revisit the towel subject with the dish towels that are raggedy Let's add the bath towels that are raggedy. <laughs> you can definitely go and find some reasonably priced bath towels. Like I said, I have three daughters and along with that can come hair accessories that we do not use. So there's times that we buy something for a special occasion or we just buy them because it's something that is cute in the moment at the store but is not something that my child wants to keep on their head. Guilty. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of bed linens. And actually, I'm gonna give you a little tip with this one, and that is maybe don't throw them out. Maybe you need to take the old sheet and put it in your garage for the next time you wanna spray paint something and you need something to cover the ground. All right, so I put on the list old face masks. And when I wrote this down, it's because I have a bunch of spa face masks I need to get rid of, but I think this could also be a pliable at this point to face masks that you would wear in the store or whatever. So we're kind of sliding into some bathroom things here. Old nail polish that is dried out that you do not use. And I'm sure that there are some of you that may have an entire tub of old nail polish. Go through it. Make sure that the ones that you love, you keep. Next, we have toothbrushes. And I know that I have to definitely keep a mental note on when I last swapped out our toothbrushes and just throwing out old ones. If you are a smart watch wearer, then you're probably somebody that has multiple watch bands. And I know for myself, especially because I only started wearing a smartwatch in the past year. I was kind of trying out different ones that I liked and ended up with some of them I don't like. And right after that, we've got jewelry, things that you don't like wearing. I know I'm super picky about what type of jewelry I wear and how it feels on me. So that is an area that I can tend to get a lot of clutter. Okay, the next two items is perfume and body spray. Number one, body spray, unless you're someone that really, really enjoys it. If you're someone that enjoys body spray, I would actually kind of like to hear why you enjoy it in the comments below. Um, I'm personally more of a perfume wearer. I just feel like the body spray tends to wear off really quickly. Hair products that we don't like. So go ahead and get rid of the things that you don't enjoy using on a regular basis. Personally, I wear ball caps a lot. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time, then you already know that I am a ball cap kind of girl. I like wearing a ball cap. And with that, I do accumulate a lot of them. And sometimes they don't fit the way that I want them to. So getting rid of the ones that you don't like or you don't like how they look and passing them on to someone else is one way to give them a new life. Along with hair accessories, 
I personally wear a lot of headbands as well, hair wraps. So that was something that I needed to go through and declutter. Since we are on the topic of accessories, I know that sunglasses is something that some people really collect a lot of. And I don't have too many extra sunglasses, but sometimes I do order them online and I don't really like how they fit. So I did have a few pair that I needed to move on to someone else. Okay, this one I'm pretty sure in the day and age we live in, we all can do, and that is decluttering cords. Especially cords that you have no idea what they're for. It's a really good idea <laughs> to just get rid of them. And for the most part, you can usually, if you stumble upon something that you're missing the cord for, you can usually find it online somewhere. All right, so I recently decluttered my way of doing planning and I switched to doing a lot of my planner stuff on my phone and using my calendar on there and also a large dry erase board. But along with that idea, I kind of ditched the paper planning idea. As much as I love doing it, it just wasn't practical for the way that I wanted to run everything. Right next to that, notebooks. And I'm somebody that writes down a lot of my thoughts because it's just helpful to me. I can keep track of lists and things like that. But along with that, I tend to buy a lot of notebooks. Right next to the notebooks, let's go with the pens. And as somebody that makes a lot of lists and planning and writing and things like that, I have pens I like and pens I don't. All right, so along with the office supplies, paper crafts that you do not use, extra stickers, extra crafting items that I know for myself, sticky notes and things like that. This goes with the decor idea and that is old rugs that you don't like or that you have rolled up and you haven't used for a long time, give them to somebody that will enjoy them or you can always sell them at a garage sale or on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so I'm really guilty of this and that is hanging on to boxes from products that I might not want, that I could maybe return or even like from electronics and things like that, that I don't know why I'm hanging on to the box. So old boxes that you thought you might need at some point for whatever reason need to be recycled. Okay. Okay, so I do tend to kind of flip back and forth between using candles, wax warmers, air fresheners, and things like that. But I had a handful of wall plug-in air fresheners that I just had stored away and I didn't wasn't planning to use them again. So those I needed to pass on. And they are something that maybe someone else could enjoy and get new refills for, or maybe you just need to recycle them. All right, so along with skincare, we've got makeup and makeup does go bad. Okay, so pet supplies. And I know we have a little pet that I have not introduced to my YouTube channel yet but I may sometime soon um, but pet supplies is something that I think definitely just like our children or even ourselves there are things that we buy that just we don't end up liking or your pet may not end up liking laundry supplies so if you're someone that enjoys keeping up your home like I do sometimes I buy things thinking that I will like it like maybe a certain kind of dryer ball or something like that or even laundry soap and I wash my clothes and it does not work in it my clothes still smell bad then I just need to get rid of the bottle of laundry soap okay so this might be an item that you don't see every day but could be taking up space and that is extra furniture that you may be storing in your attic in your basement in your garage that you have good intentions for or you did have good intentions for you may have found it at a yard sale and you think you're gonna redo it but you're really not going to okay so this is for all of my organizer extraordinaires I don't know <laughs> but people that like to organize things tend to hang on to bins and I am so guilty of this I will have stacks of bins in my storage that I think that I may reuse in another space and the reality is they're just sitting there and I could get rid of them all right so I've had this conversation with other people so I think this probably will apply and that is old vacuum cleaners why we hang on to old vacuum cleaners that either need to be fixed or don't work at all or kind of partially work because what if the new one breaks and we want to use the old one again i don't know but to be honest with you i had i think four vacuum cleaners that i was storing for four that i do not use and do not like 
and I just needed to pass them on. Okay, so this is one that we kind of purchased when we go to do the project, and that is shelf liners or contact paper, and I was guilty. I had, I think, four rolls of stuff, and not only that, but shelf liner and contact paper generally tend to get really crinkly and bent out of shape whenever you store them, unless you're storing them perfectly in their little wrapping. Right along with that, let's just go with gift wrapping, and I understand hanging on to Christmas wrapping paper, but that pink happy birthday paper that you don't know when you're gonna need pink paper again, it might need to go. So let's go with holiday decor and <sighs> holiday decor. I know for myself, I like to change things up most of the time and each year everything's a little bit different. So pass it on to somebody else. Let's go ahead and tack in some wall art in there. So I know this is something that can take up a lot of storage space and especially whenever you like to change up your decor, it might be better for you to just pass it on and find that piece of wall art that you really love. So I started things off with real house plants, but let's go to fake house plants. I feel like that we all have them and sometimes they have seen better days. Your dog has chewed on them, they've lost their color, they sat in the sun and got faded, and they just aren't very realistic anymore, and they definitely look like a fake plant. Probably time to throw it out. Okay, so we touched on office supplies, but I'm gonna go ahead and say kids' art supplies, especially stuff your kids do not use. So if it is something that also drives you crazy, I know in our house, I have come to the point where I don't buy those foam stickers anymore because when they get stuck on something, they're terrible to clean off. Something I do not enjoy. So get rid of things that cause you extra problems or just simply your kids don't like. And why do we hang on to use coloring books? Go through your coloring books, look at which ones are have been completely used up and you can go ahead and recycle them. Unused toys is another one and I feel like as parents, we can kind of throw this one on the back burner and not feel like going through their toys. But the reality is your kids will enjoy their toys so much more whenever they just have the toys that they love and they're not all mixed in with toys they don't play with. If you are a millennial mom, then you probably have had a sound machine in your house at one point in time and or an oil diffuser. <laughs> I know for myself when I went through and decluttered my house, I had a couple of these items that we were not using and I needed to get rid of them or just pass them on to someone that will use them. PJs that your kids have grown out of or ones that you don't enjoy. PJs I feel like are something that you want to be cozy and comfy in and if it's not serving its use anymore, it's time to go. For your kids, socks that are too too small and again I don't know why I hang on to these things sometimes <laughs> I throw them back in the bin and I need to think through when was the last time my child actually wore that kids clothing that is too small that you can pass on to somebody else books that your kids have either torn or don't like to read anymore the row blankets that you don't like to cozy up in and I know I am super guilty of this having throw blankets that look cute they look nice they look just the way that you want them to on your couch, but nobody actually uses them. It's time to part ways. Along with this, blankets. Blankets that no one ever uses. And I know that for myself, I can hang on to blankets because they seem like something that you should hang on to, but if they're taking up a lot of storage space, which blankets do take up a lot of storage space, and you aren't using them, then just pass it on to someone that can use it. Baskets, and I love baskets. My mom actually used to make baskets, and I don't know if that's why I do, but I tend to hang on to them. Paper clutter, very, very guilty of this one. Um, I will hang on to things that I do not need, and they make piles. I think that's really all I have to say about that, just the piles of papers that you have laying around, go through them. Outdoor decor that has seen better days. And I know if you live in an area that gets snow in the winter time, sometimes it can be hard on your outdoor decor if you've not put it away for the winter. So I had a few things that I needed to just throw out. So things that do not belong to you. And I am terrible at this, but 
just getting things back to the original owner that you maybe borrowed or they left something at your house just take time to do it i know sometimes we don't think about doing it but swinging by their house to drop it off or figuring out when you will see them next and remembering maybe even putting it in your car so you actually remember to return it to the owner clutter and junk you do not use that's in your purse or your backpack or whatever bag you use on a regular basis i know for myself i constantly shove receipts into my bag and I end up with an entire bag of receipts that I am carrying around on a daily basis. Kitchen appliances that you do not use or that are broken. I had a submergent blender that I had loved forever and it was really on its last leg. It would make a really high whining sound whenever I used it and there was definitely something wrong with it. So it just took a few minutes for me to go online, order myself a new one. It came in a few days and then I just replaced the old one with the new one. This one can be kind of hard for some people and that is weeding out old art projects that your kids did keeping the ones you want to keep and honestly a really great way to do that is to take a photo of it make a photo album of all of your kids art projects and just getting rid of the things that they are not paying attention to they don't even remember that they did it but you're hanging on to for whatever reason all right so we've got flat bed pillows and Again, I think in our mind, we're like, oh, if somebody comes over, I have this extra pillow. Pillows are not that expensive. <laughs> They're a couple dollars and it's worthwhile to have a comfortable pillow than to be struggling to try to sleep on a flat bed pillow. Next, I have hangers that you don't like or just extra hangers that are taking up space in your closet, bag clips that you use for chip bags, especially ones that are broken or just don't work right, clutter in your center console in your car or possibly even in your glove box, old printer ink that either needs to be recycled or thrown away, unused keys on your key ring or or just maybe some keychains that aren't very handy when you grab your keys. Old vases that are just taking up space in storage. Maybe keep one around for whenever you get the occasional bouquet of flowers. Old sunscreen and food containers that don't seal correctly to keep your food fresh. Okay, so the last item is kind of wrapping around to the first item and that is pots that are specifically made for plants and you're hanging on to them thinking you're gonna get more plants and they just sit. Again, it's something that someone else could use and enjoy and they are something that most people would be glad to take on if you wanna get rid of them. I hope this video wasn't too long. At this point, I don't know how long I've been filming so hopefully I can get it all put together for you all and give you a lot of inspiration. I'm gonna leave the list of the 100 items that I mentioned in this video in the description box so you guys can copy and paste it and print it off if you want to. And um, if this was helpful to you, let me know in the comments. I know I love watching videos like this and it's what inspired me to make a video like this and let you know what I've been working on decluttering and just making my life a little more organized and slightly more minimal. I don't like to use the word minimalist because I know I'm not a minimalist but I like to at least have things organized and you can't have organization with excess clutter. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'd love it if you joined my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.